so we have already seen that how we can analyze our sales from all that complete you know uh, complete general ledger of three years how we can analyze our sales very quickly now the next thing that we want to do is to add a visualization so that anyone who is looking at sales can quickly understand different patterns in that and uh, thanks to power bi this is going to be very easy so what i need to do is that simply click on this uh, uh, on this matrix and do the control c control v that is our traditional copy paste and once you have this new matrix here keep it selected and just go to the visualization that you want to add so for example i i will like to add the line chart for the sales trend so i will just click on that line chart here and once i do that you will notice that power bi has automatically added the line for you so you don't have to do anything again power bi will take care of that just click on the type of the chart so for example if you like to do the bar chart just click on that and power bi will do that for you so going back to my line chart now you can see the trend if i can just you know uh, show you the values uh, just hover over this one and you can see the first year value is 3.575 that is the same here and the second one is you know uh, 5.697 and the third one is 7.835 so this way you have quickly converted your sales into a chart here but what we need to do now is that we need to convert this chart into a further you know we need to drill down this data into quarters and at a month so that we can actually see the trends otherwise the trend is very straightforward the sales are increasing right so for that what i will do is that i will simply click here on these options but you know if we do that you know what will happen it will break all the data into four quarters and if i do that again it will break down all the data into months so anyone who is looking at this chart can quickly tell you that all these three uh, years compiled together our best month was uh, november our worst month was the month of february and you can quickly see the trend that when the sales increased in the month of july the sales will increase and that this increased level will be you know quite maintained and then after the month of october the sales in the month of october the sales will increase and you know the pattern is quite clear but now we do not want to merge all of these three years together let us say in that case how we are going to handle that so for that let me first of all go back to my original data and once you have done that you know if you look at this option here at this moment this option is you know turned off at this particular moment and the reason for that is if you go to your axis you will see that in the axis there are two parameters that have been given so we have the axis available for the date that is perfectly something that we need but there is also another additional parameter of subclass the point is we do not really need that right now the reason is we already have applied the filter of sales on this particular visual so only the sales value will appear right so i can simply remove this subclass from here and if i do that you will notice that you know this icon here is now available uh, this expand all down icon and now i can if i can click on this you know I have quickly broken down my sales into the quarters so if you hover over this one you have the value of 2018 quarter one then quarter two then quarter three and quarter four and then we have 2019 and then we have 2020 and you can further drill down to the month level as well and you can now quickly see that what is happening in the month level so you know that is how we can compare that we can visualize the sales but that is not it we have more options available that we can use to visualize our sales trend even better but before i go to that level i will just save this chart for now and i will copy and paste to make a new chart so you know we have both the visualizations visualizations available so i will control c and control v so we have uh, i'm sorry i will do that again control c and control v so we have a new chart and i will just you know save this one here and let me make it a bit smaller and let me make it a big bigger and keep it on the corner and then we have once we have multiple charts we can quickly arrange our dashboard but at this moment i just want to you know use my space to have more and more uh, more and more charts right so I've, i will save this chart and i will keep working on this one so what i want to do now is i want to have 
all the different quarters and months in the same chart but I want to have a separate line for each of the year and for that what I'm gonna do is I will simply delete this year from here and you know I, I have selected this chart here so all the changes are going to be here so I will delete the year level from here and now you can see that my chart is broken down by quarters but you know I did not want to uh, I, I can further break it down by month as well so my chart is given at the month level and uh, now I want to break down the the sales values by year so I will go back to my data and I will bring that date into this legend column and in this legend column just ignore what is happening for a moment I will fix it now so I will click on this drop down here and I will click on drop date hierarchy so that Power BI again creates a hierarchy for me and it will automatically create the year hierarchy only for me and now you can see that I have my sales available to analyze by different line for each year so you can now quickly compare all the different years and by the way let me go one level up to make sure that we are analyzing our sales by quarter and now you can see that the trend of the sales is quite similar in each year the overall starting value is higher definitely in 2020 we have become a bigger company so the sales is higher but the trend is quite similar in each year and if I go if I can go back to the month level again you can see that even at the month level the overall trend of the company is quite similar the, we have performed similar in each month and whenever the sales is going down it is similar for all the different years so in the month of June we have a bit of, a bit of decline and then in the month of July we have a very sharp increase so this way we can analyze our sales in different years as well and by the way which line is representing which year that information is available here by the color so the light blue is 2018 dark blue is 19 and 2020 is the orange line if you like to change the colors you can do that just keep this uh, chart selected and go to format and you will have the option of data colors here so for example if i don't like this uh, orange line here because that is quite out of the our branding theme we are working in the blue overall so i will just change that to let us say something like uh, a very dark blue so something like this so now these two values are becoming quite similar so i will go back to my 2019 and make that a brighter blue a comparatively brighter blue right so now we can see the different lines here so this way you can analyze your sales into different years i hope that was helpful